Hey folks, uh, today we're going to take a quick look at uh, doing a simple uh, modeling exercise uh, using SAP HANA Studio. Uh, basically the information modeler within the SAP HANA Studio. Uh, I'm going to use uh, three simple tables here. Sales fact. Let me open up these tables so you can take a quick look at the data. So, uh, sales fact is basically, it has uh, region ID, item ID, and sales amount. The uh, region DIM has uh, region ID, region name, and sub-region name. And the item ID has uh, item ID and item name. Take a... Uh, quick look at the content actually I'm going to show you the SQL that I have used to populate it uh, it's very simple basically very simple data just very few rows into the sales fact table I'm populating the region ID item ID and the amount sales amount for example 1 1 and 100 and 1 2 and 90 and so on in the region dim I'm populating uh, various region and sub-region names and in the item dim I'm populating a few item names uh, next we go ahead and uh, create attribute views uh, analytical views and uh, and do some data analysis on it uh, first going to create a package uh, I'm going to create a package first and uh, I will also uh, copy down in the description of this video the scripts that I have used just in case uh, you want to reuse it for a simple test or anything. So uh, uh, basically you need to go into the uh, information uh, modeler perspective and uh, that is when this content portion will open up you right click there and create a new package let's call it uh, my demo okay I'm gonna close up these dims in the meantime okay so now we have my demo we will go ahead and create uh, attribute view name uh, ATR attribute view and let's say region next okay I'm gonna go to the sales schema go and uh, select the region attribute of the region then say finish So, uh, so we now have the region then I am going to right click here on the region ID and say add as key attribute so you see it gets added here on the right hand side for the region and sub region name you could select multiple by doing a control and clicking on the multiple columns right click and do add as attribute so you see the key has a star on it and the others are plain attributes. I'm going to save this. And down here we have the attribute view. And uh, we're going to activate this. So here you'll see... Uh, the status it's validating and uh, we have our little friend here running his marathon and there the status is success now I'm going to close the log here and I am right now not going to create the uh, second attribute we'll actually I'll show you how to later modify or 
uh, model to add more attributes and that's why I'm going to do it later. I'm first going to create an analytical view. So go to analytical view under my mod demo, uh, analytic views, and right click new analytic view. I'm going to call it AV sales. Next. With the sales schema tables and pick up the sales fact table. Next, okay. Oops, I'm actually going to skip this part. I don't need it, uh, basically because it's a simple example here. I'm going to just click on finish. Here we have the AV sales analytic view. I am gonna go in here on the right hand side, right click on this and say add as attribute. Uh, when I do that, the region ID gets added as a private attribute. Uh, and uh, for the amount, I'm gonna right click and say add as measure. So that gets added here. I'm going to save this, go into the logical view next and uh, here what I'm going to do is drag in the attribute view for the region that we created earlier. So drag it in here and uh, join the region ID to region ID and save it again. right click on AV sales and say activate you might want to validate it also but I'm just going to go ahead and do activate here the log opens up again you can see the status it's pending validating it'll probably come up with the attribute view also and it'll skip it because it's already active uh, it's come up with the attribute view skip that uh, because it's already active our little fellow, our little friend here is uh, on his second marathon and activating the analytic view. So that's successful here. I'm going to go ahead and close the job log. And uh, for the end user, you typically want to, uh, actually the model is ready here. These uh, simple model that I was talking of is ready here for your analysis. For the end user, you probably want to use Explorer or something like that. But... Uh, you know, uh, as a developer, you yourself could go in here and uh, do some analysis straight away. So you right click on the AV sales and do a data preview. So it's going to come back with the raw data. So you see it has a region ID. Uh, well, what is this? Uh, yeah, it has the region sub region name region uh, sub region name region name and sales amount you could go to distinct values here and click on region name and it will show you you know what are the counts of the regions and what's the percentage of each, uh, each region in the analytic view and things like that or in the model basically uh, you could click on the sub region name and it will show you the uh, various counts for that too. In my case, it's all one. Uh, uh, for analysis, you go on the analysis tab and uh, let's say you could add region name here, sub region name here and sales amount here. And it's going to come up with a nice little chart. You have options of selecting different kinds of chart that might be appropriate for your data that you're analyzing. Uh, or that you're looking at basically and uh, a few other templates here and uh, so on uh, so basically this gives you the uh, 
you know uh, end to end step of creating a simple model from a table i mean creating uh, attribute views and analytic views and uh, doing some quick data analysis from the studio itself uh, on similar lines now i'm just going to go ahead and add one more attribute view basically based on the second dimension table that we have here so i go back to my demo package right click here say new attribute view say ATR item next go back to sales tables item dip add finish so now uh, we have this attribute uh, view here for the item you see how we have this little gray symbol which tells us that it's not yet activated so uh, i'm going to go ahead and go to item id and add it as the key attribute and the item name i'm going to add it as an attribute save this right click on the attribute view and say activate or actually on the particular attribute view and uh, say activate and we're going to have our little friend come up here again running his marathon and uh, there uh, it's getting activated and it's a success uh, i'm going to close the job log here close this attribute view window close the other attribute view go to the analytical view uh, you see uh, i'm in data foundation this is where you you need to go back to data foundation actually uh, i'll show you why let's say i go back to the logical view and uh, if you see uh, let's say i add the new attribute that we created and uh, hello doesn't want to come in okay it's here so you see how the data foundation does not have the item id so we need to go back to the data foundation here go to item id right click and say add as attribute so basically it will get added to the private attributes i'm going to save it and from the data foundation we then go to the logical view and now we have item id there i'm going to drag the item id and put it up here i mean join the two save this and now since we have added a new attribute to our uh, model or the logical view for the analytical view analytic view uh, you see how we need to activate again so uh, we go ahead and activate this again call up our little friend here it is going to skip the uh, two attribute views because they are already uh, active and it's uh, currently running on act or working on activating the analytic view and there it's successful so i'm going to go back and close the job log go back to the analytic view av sales right click on it and do a data preview so uh, again going and taking a look at the distinct values again this time you will see that uh, we have the various item names and uh, what else uh, going to analysis uh, we could do some analysis here let's say region name item name and uh, sales amount and uh, actually I'm going to put sub region name here and uh, pull the region name out from here maybe and put the region name down in the filter and by default it's coming with an equal to and takes apj and i'm going to go to this little drop down kind of thing here and instead of equal to i'm going to say in list and select values i'm going to say apj and america and there it comes up with uh, 
you know the sub regions of APG and America and uh, the various items uh, I could also actually put the region back here also and uh, yeah that's the little analysis on the uh, data model or the data that we have in our data model and uh, yeah that's it uh, one other quick point is for my connection here I am using uh, the system user and uh, if you do use the system user you would have to go into the catalog here go to authorizations and uh, users and uh, go to the system user and right click actually double click go to SQL privileges and uh, no which one was it let me take a quick look give me a moment uh, I forgot give me a moment actually it's not uh, the system user I mean even though I'm connecting to the system user I actually go to SYS repo user and uh, I have to make sure that in SQL privileges the schema that I'm using is added here and uh, the user is given select privileges and uh, radio box on grantable to others should be yes uh, basically uh, the system user inherits the rights from sysrepo uh, so if you're using anything other than system you would have to explicitly go to that user and add the select rights uh, yep that's a quick note on the uh, user rights for uh, you know viewing the data uh, I haven't explored much yet on the user rights as it's uh, I've used the system one by default as I mentioned uh, so yeah uh, have fun with it uh, as always what I'm using here is a very small box with uh, a few MB RAM 8 or 20 MB I don't know so obviously uh, I mean my data is also very less so really the performance is not a comparison here it's always uh, how to so that you can go ahead and uh, have fun with your implementations or test cases uh, thank you very much for watching uh, hope it was helpful and as always appreciate comments if any uh, have a good day or good evening uh, thank you